Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back. Back. Welcome back. Jeez, I can't talk already to Super Mario 3D World. In this episode, we are going to take on Motley Boss Blob's big battle. Oh dear, and we are Flash at Mario, and that makes me very uncomfortable um, for the circus of pain that I'm sure I'm about to endure. I will take your double cherry, it's better than nothing. Um, uh, better to be double flaccid Mario than <laughs> double flaccid. Anyway, I've got to stop. It's so stupid. Was that ever funny in the first place? I don't know. I guess it was a little bit. But anyway, um, hello, Court Jester. You must be Motley, and you are working your magic. And what the hell, Nintendo? Oh, you are very terrifying, and you are going to squash me. That is what you are trying to do, and I will- Oh, there's another double- Double cherry! I want it! Oh my god, I can bounce on your blobs, and I can bounce on you! Okay. Um, I'm assuming three hits, like always. Um, I will protect my clone at all costs. God, he gets so close! Um, I will take that chip. I will not take anything. I will take nothing. There's nothing to be had by me. But, um, but death. Okay. Um, we will try this again. <laughs> um, so you can bounce on the little blob things. Uh, and there's always a, an in between each hit, a double cherry appears. So the potential for me to have an army of Mario's is very real. Okay. I swear, Nintendo, man, they, they put things into their games that can seriously be nightmare fuel like this and those eyes oh god okay and yet you're not that bad you're just still a puny little court jester when it's all said and done what do, what do court jesters do anyway I mean I, you know you know that they're a court jester by the outfit you know we all know the outfit but what did they actually do did they like tell jokes or um, I mean they're kind of like clowns but I don't know I, w I would like to know exactly what court jesters did. They're supposed to be like, make the king laugh, I guess. I, I don't know. Anyway, there's no time to think about that. The, the time to think about surviving is now. And uh, there are more double cherries, but it doesn't matter because you've been defeated while we were babbling about court jesters. Um, I will take your coins and your star. And the only thing I don't like about this is I feel that trying to get the gold flag with clones could potentially screw you over. You know, if one of them should hit the flagpole lower. So what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to leave my clones behind. Let's see. Let's get you and you down there. Okay. That makes me feel better because now you're away from the flagpole and I can build up speed. I cannot build up speed. You cannot build up speed. I feel, I feel like I've learned that already. Um, that you cannot build up speed with clones. Um, well, in that case... Um, yeah, yeah, you cannot. Um, okay, get, get down below, get away from the flagpole, so that only I am jumping toward it. And... There we go. Okay, good deal. Um, success, and now that means that we've officially finished World 6. I, I thought we did it in the last video, and um, I think my cat is coughing up a hairball right now. Seriously? Okay, um, I don't know if that gagging is going to come up on, <laughs> come up on video. Uh, that That's wonderful. Good job, Oscar. Um, thank you for participating. Okay, we've been uncorked, and now we can officially proceed to World 7. And... What? Lava World? We are in Lava World. Um, typically, World 8 is Lava World. This, however, is World Castle. World Fortress? Um, what? what is this? I mean, it looks cool as hell, but I was not expecting this at all. Um, okay. Everyone take it easy. Have a good day. I'll see you next time for more of Super Mario 3D World for World Castle. Bye.